and welcome to Rusted Iron Ranch. Uh, today we're going to be working on an old McDonald diesel. Um, I'm probably not going to get it all today, done today. Um, well, I'm definitely not because I'm missing one part still. Um, but I thought I might just um, set the camera up and you can watch as I um, put everything back together. Um, so this engine is a two and a half horsepower um, McDonald SE. Um, it's, I think, 1948. Um, I believe the SEs were made before that too, um, over quite a number of years. There's also a CE, which looks very much the same, um, but it's got spoke, spoke flywheels, and I think the, um, the actual engine might be slightly bigger. Um, it's approximately four horsepower, that one. Um, so, they don't run on a normal, um, like your Bosch type injection system. Um, they, we'll get into it a bit later, I'll probably try and explain it a little bit. But they, um, it's all uh, gravity fed and uh, just mechanical. So there's no, um, there's no fuel pump that provides high pressure to an injector or, and then a nozzle and then actuated. It's, um, it's actually just low pressure gravity feeding into a, what looks like an injector. Um, and then it's all actuated off one push rod, which is run off in here, which you'll see as I start um, assembling it, assembling it, it'll start to hopefully make sense. There's the, um, the placard there. Um, and yet crank handle in the flywheel. Uh, there's the piston coming up and down. Oh, another cool thing I'll show you. Um, so just inside, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me just check. Okay, you can. Um, you can see the crank going round the big end. Um, this little oil line that runs up here, so it's got an oil pump in the side. Um, it's gear driven. There's uh, quite a few gears in here and a roller that actuates the, um, uh, like a cam that actuates the push rod. Um, there's also an oil pump in there and, and it sucks out of the sump, obviously. And then um, there's oil lines going to everything. So all the... Um, the crank has bearing, uh, crank bearings are oiled. Um, then there's another oil line coming up to here, um, and this runs like it's like a little diaphragm inside. A, I'm not really holding the camera very well. There's a little diaphragm in there, and what it does is when it builds up oil pressure, pushes against the diaphragm, and it pushes out this little pin here, and it's called a telltale. So it's kind of like a mechanical, um, mechanical oil pressure um, gauge. But no gauge. It's just if the if the little um, pins out, it means you've got oil pressure. And uh, so off camera, I've kind of prepped the whole engine to be put back together. Um, but just before I've uh, cleaned it all up, um, I've put oil in it to the right level. Um, I degreased everything inside and pressure washed it out and re-lubed it up. And it's actually um, all the bearings are really quiet now. It was a little bit clunky after I'd cleaned it. It's really quiet now, but have a look at this telltale. All it takes is a few rotations on the crank and it's already got oil pressure. And then I can just kind of push against what I can feel is the diaphragm. There. So yeah, um, actually that's probably a pretty good angle. Just crank it over a bit for you. You can have a look inside. And uh, so up the top in here, it actually drives the governor. The governor weights um, spread, pushes against that arm. That arm then twists a shaft, a shaft that goes all the way through the head, or through the, um, the hopper, and just uh, rocks this and that sets your, um, I guess, the steepness of the um, the arm that actually lifts the injector up. It's literally a needle and seat. That's all it is. Um, uh, it seems to be pretty, um, pretty basic. And then the compression just ignites the fuel in a little cup down the bottom. The cup's got two little, um, two little like like 
like in, like injector nozzle, but um, they'd be a lot bigger than what an injector would be because the compression has to be able to go in through them, combust in the little chamber, and then the combustion actually pushes the rest of the unburnt fuel out, and then it'll combust into the cha in the chamber, presumably. Well, that's that's as that's as far as I understand it. So, if I'm wrong, someone correct me. All right, well, um, I'll set you guys up and we'll start putting it back together. Okay, this is the head. Um, I've cleaned it all up. I've uh, lapped in the valves. Um, I'm going to leave that original head gasket on. It's kind of like a, um, what's it called? Steam lagging or something like that. It's like a, you know, like a leathery type material. Um, so everything in this has been dissembled, cleaned thoroughly, uh, cleaned all the springs. Everything works really well. Um, I've got the air filter, the oil filter. What's there? Um, oil bath air filter um, housing to go on the bottom of that. I'll put that on in a minute. Um, but yeah, this is ready to go. So it goes up that way, like that. You can see the copper o ring in there, or the copper seal in there, washer. Um, for the, we'll call it the injector, it's not an injector, but the injector to sit down on. And then these two nuts uh, do up and hold tension onto that um, copper washer. Alright, I'll just quickly blow that back off, just got it dirty from the floor, um, and we'll put that on. I think I've got the um, injection, so fuel, intake and exhaust roughly in the right order. Um, I want to put the injector in, I'm going to reassemble the injector on the bench. Uh, I want to put the injector in just so that it's creating a seal and I can crank it over and just make sure it's uh, building up compression um, and I might need to adjust the intake and exhaust. I think that's in the right position and I still, I'm still missing this arm that actually lifts it um, but if I get everything done I might even try and make that arm as well. I've made the other arm that goes off here, here up the top that um, this one lifts 
Um, it's hard to explain, but when I get the injector on, it all makes sense. Um, so I might just reassemble the injector. I'm calling it the injector, but it's not. Uh, the system is called um, Bronze or VID, spelled H V I D. Um, so you can look it up if you want to look at it. Um, I can't remember its um, country of origin. Um, but yeah, have, have a look at that. It's it's a bit of a confusing uh, idea, but at the same time, it's pretty ingenious. All right, I'll reassemble this injector and I'll try. Okay, so this is the injector. This is the housing. Um, this is the top plunger, I would say. There's the needle and the seat is inside this, which is um, the fuel goes in around, see through those holes there, that hole there, out through the bottom. And this is the fuel cup, which has two little like nozzle jets in there. So this sits in there and it fits in very well. Um, the needle goes in this and they go in the bottom out there somewhere I now need to work out the adjustment because this sits in here I need to work out the adjustment of uh, how much this is going to lift I might go all the way up um, until I get it on the engine and then I can adjust it down so I might just assemble it all the way up so it's really not even lifting the needle much up at all um, and then once it's on the engine I can uh, see if I can adjust it somewhat Okay, so that's uh, getting more together. Um, now, this part from here to there, I made this. So I got a tracing of the original part, um, and I fabricated this yesterday. Um, so that goes in here and goes in underneath this here, and that's what actually lifts up and lifts that plunger which then lifts the needle and seat down in here up um, but I'm missing the part that goes off here which as the um, the, the um, push rod comes forward makes this go where does it go so it goes forward and it makes the ball go down and release it um, I think uh, I've, I've got to have a look at some photos and if I get this on I, um, I think that I can fabricate something from pictures, I will, because I'll have some known measurements um, with, you know, from here to here type thing, and it's only got to come in under here and just lift up like that. All right, I'll, um, I'll put this on and then, uh, yeah, we'll reevaluate. Okay, so I'm getting, um, so I can't really go any further than this. I don't have the stuff to um, fabricate this arm. But uh, I'll just crank it over then. It actually is, um, it is combusting what little bit of oil and that's probably in there. So that's a good sign. Means I've probably got my timing roughly right. Um, I'll crank it over to show you.
Okay, so I think we might leave it here. Um, I'll bring this back when I've got this other part and uh, I know I'm getting fuel into the cylinder. Um, yeah, it's just, it's probably not gonna fire off uh, WD-40 or silicon spray, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I'll get this part and I'll do a bit more assembling and uh, then I'll bring this back. Um, it might be a couple of weeks or so. We'll get back to it then. All right, you see you in a bit. Sorry.